In presidential politics, it doesn't get crazier than this. A too close to call election, a tie in the key battleground state of Florida, where the governor is the little brother of the Republican candidate. We thought it would be close. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine it would be this close. If you own the system, which the governor at the time, Bush, owned, you generally will win. They didn't do anything criminal or anything inappropriate. But as I said, I think if the Democrats that can control the governorship and basically control the state, no, no doubt in my mind those calls would have been made for the Democrat. Jeb was sort of yeah. the wizard right. behind the well, curtain. Well, he's the governor of the state. Yeah. And there was, a, there was chaos as a result of an election in his state. And he was going to come back and try to get control of this thing. Yeah, he's uh, between a rock and a hard spot. I mean, obviously, he wants his brother to win, but he can show no favoritism in his role as governor of the state. And we weren't asking him. I don't believe that he pulled any levers. Or maybe he didn't have to. Maybe it was just understood. No major law firm in Florida would work for Al Gore. Even Democratic. Even Democratic-oriented law firms, because everyone was afraid of antagonizing the Bush family, uh, antagonizing the governor, and losing important state business. Did you have any evidence that they had been called by the No government? evidence that anyone said anything to anybody. Well, stuff didn't have to be said, right? It was just all <laughs> obvious. Uh, it turned out that the name of the governor of the state of Florida was the same name as the name of the person we were running against. You know, and so. Nothing had to be said, and I'm not saying that Governor Bush did anything wrong. I don't believe he did. I want to mm -hmm. be clear about that. But it wasn't a fair process. It wasn't a neutral process. It was a process that was rigged against us.